Hey everyone, I'm Josh Carter and you're watching Brew Diego TV. Now this is only our third episode, so I'm not saying we've arrived or anything, but we are at Ailsmith. That's right. With Peter Zion from Alesmith, uh, Peter, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, man. my pleasure. That's awesome. Um, so, tell us a little bit about the story of Alesmith, when it started, and kind of when you came into the picture here. Okay. Well, Alesmith was established in 1995, right uh, in the suite next door to us, and uh, by my good friend Skip Virgilio and Ted Newcomb. Um, I was a home brewer back in those days, and I actually, I actually volunteered here, and that's what always. Uh, had my interest in Alesmith, but Alesmith uh, developed its reputation slowly, with one beer at a time, really got the reputation just so hammered in that we're just all about craft, and, and I just watched them grow. So I took over a brewery uh, in July of 2001, and uh, we had very limited resources, uh, very little beer on hand. Uh, we didn't have the crystal ball that showed us how this was all going to blow up into a wonderful uh, you know, scene here in San Diego, but uh, we just plugged away, Todd Fitzsimmons and myself, and uh, we were adding people one at a time, Bill Batten, and uh, and uh, yeah, Hale Smith today. So uh, I guess, long story short, just uh, everyone who's been at the helm here has been a home brewer, a beer judge, quality-minded. Uh, Skip, it was very important to him that he handed the brewery off to the correct people person and I was very honored that he found me worthy and uh, I, I like to feel like I'm standing on his shoulders and just taking Ailsmith to the next levels. But I want to elevate the beer drinking experience, Absolutely. be the Rolls Royce of the segment and uh, you know, Well that's speaking of being the Rolls Royce of the segment, I mean your bottles kind of speak for themselves. I mean you know probably the most thing. elegantly bottled beers that are out there. Um, explain to me why you chose the 750 and 22s as opposed to Going six packs or something like that. Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of it was the limitations of our bottler, which you'll just see in a moment. <laughs> um, we were, as a startup brewery, uh, that that's the packaging that makes sense. Uh, each bottle is going to hold a little bit more beer, thus reducing the bottling chore, which is hand done, as you'll see. So um, we went with the bigger packaging for that sake. But uh, why we chose the 750 is uh, very important to us. Uh, I, I want us to be the Rolls Royce of the segment, and I want the presentation to be completely unfamiliar to uh, you know the non-beer drinker to see that, wow, this is beer. Um, it doesn't look like anything I've seen in a bottle. It doesn't taste like anything. The price is different. Everything's different about it, and that's what this whole new era is about. It is completely different. Yeah. Uh, full flavored quality beer. So. Um, we want you to be attracted by packaging. Um, I'm a big believer in that packaging has a lot to do with just like the proper glassware. And uh, not only will the bottle make you buy it, but I, I'm hoping that once you try the beer inside, you'll be back and you're going to want to buy it again. So, Peter, you grew up here in San Diego for the most part, right? I mean, about as native as it gets these days. Uh, went to high school here at Bishops, went to USD, you know, all that stuff. Uh, so, kind of, basically, you're, you're a San Diego brewer for San Diegans. Yeah, I feel I'm pretty in touch with, with what San Diego wants to drink. Uh, yeah, growing up here, um, beer choices when I was a young man um, in the late 70s. There weren't a lot of choices, uh, but we were drinking better beer even back then. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To be 21, I understand that, but back then we, young men, are, we get their hands on beer and we were drinking better beer. I was the guy asking the bum at the corner when I handed him my five bucks like we all did. Uh, it's called Spotman, it's down on a lower shelf. And he goes, oh, I can get you 10 other six back. No, no, that one. So we were always drinking better beer and uh, to watch San Diego kind of evolve into this beer capital has been thrilling and to be part of it even more thrilling. 
but uh, we're, you know, we got our beach going on, uh, activity, the lighter beers do well. We, we, we make, you know, our X and our Little Devil are meant for the warm weather days. Mm -hmm. and, but, uh, you know, we also have our seasons too here and uh, people have been uh, very educated here. And again, I think it's the grassroots, the number of home brewers here that are, are demanding the better beers. And uh, I know my friends, what they like to drink. And, uh, uh, our lineup is designed to take care of uh, my, my beer group following that I so <laughs> love and uh, so thankful to have. And, uh, we are a classic brewer here. We may not be going to invent the next new great style, but we are going to put our spin on world established styles and yeah. uh, give you the full range, everything from an extra pale ale, 10 beers later, to our Speedway Stout, 12% uh, stout with coffee and everything in between. So San Diego. Um, you know, it, it, it's what they want, more flavorful beer, and uh, it's what we're delivering. Awesome. So now you, you said you grew up, well, in the beer community doing homebrew. Correct. That was yeah. the start. And I read somewhere 400, like, medals and honors yeah. just for you. Well, yeah, and it's not because I'm an egomaniac. In fact, people who know me will tell you quite the opposite. But uh, it, it was about getting feedback from established judges who knew what they were talking about and helping me make a better beer when I would rebrew it. So, yeah, over the years, uh, my home brewing career took me to some of the highest honors. Uh, uh, as president of Quap, when we were Homebrew Club of the Year, I had a number of first place beers and won medals in the second round. And you're up against everyone in the country, so it was thrilling. And uh, I think I am one of the few people in the world to be able to say I was president of the Homebrew Club of the Year and the owner of a small brewery of the year with the Great American Beer Festival, which we won in 2008. So which is awesome. um, it's just thrilling validation that I've chosen the right career and, uh, and uh, have such a talented team. All right, so let's, let's give this thing a shot here. Yeah. It up. So besides making cheese, I'm also, uh, you know, I roast my own coffees, I like to make mustards, I cure olives. Uh, it, it, it's, uh, when you start getting on this track of searching out higher quality foods, it gets a little addicting and hard to stop with this. So, yeah. Um, I like, and I bake as well, I try to just make as much things as I can at home. I'm going to join you, if you don't mind. Mm. So again, all natural stuff. Oh, that is good. Peter, thanks so much for letting us come out, man. Oh, yeah, it's, my it's, pleasure. It's yeah. been a pleasure for us, man, and we really enjoyed it. Um, kind of feel like we've sort of arrived here, having an interview with you and Ale Smith and oh, everything. Thanks. No, wonderful. I'm always, I'm always uh, up for sharing the message and talking to people that are interested in what we're doing. Well, that's awesome, man. We appreciate it. So let the folks at, know, at home know where they can get your guys. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, you know, of course, here at the brewery, you're always welcome to come visit on uh, Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. The Thursday, Friday hours are 2 to 7 p.m., and Saturdays are 12 to 6. Uh, we're in, you know, many hundreds of counts throughout San Diego County, so keep your eyes open. Our website, uh, alesmith.com, mm -hmm. and uh, the states that we're available in, for those of you out of state, uh, you can find us in New York, and Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Ohio. Oregon, Arizona, and California. Um, sometimes in Europe you'll see a bottle. Denmark always gets takes beer from us as well. So uh, yeah, uh, we hope to see you here. And uh, you know, again, in the brewery, you're always welcome to come. And, uh, cool. Again, uh, some of our bigger accounts out there, you'll see us at for sure. Our beverages and more, and uh, Whole Foods and Crystal Farms, some of the higher end places. So. Awesome. Well, thank you again. Okay. Really My it. pleasure. Thank you. Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out our video with Peter at Alesmith. For more information on Alesmith and other breweries here in San Diego, make sure you check out BrewDiego.com. Until next time, keep drinking craft beer.